What's up, YouTube? Um, it's my first wa uh, video in a while here. I, um, I haven't picked up a whole lot, so um, I've just mainly been playing games and catching up on all the stuff that I picked up over the holidays and the past year. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim. Finally, been playing some um, Modern Warfare 3, which I'm still pretty terrible at, but I'm getting better. I'm learning the maps, so. Anyways, I just want to do a quick video here to show you guys uh, what state my current game room is in here. I've been tearing everything down. Uh, the stuff everywhere. Cleared out all the games from those shelves. And uh, yeah, I'm in the process of moving everything downstairs. I finally solved my uh, my shelf issue. I decided on I uh, decided on the plan I wanted to do the design. It's going to be a mixture of just really cheap wood and uh, sheet metal actually. Uh, my dad's a sheet metal worker so um, the shelves themselves are going to be made out of one by two uh, um, actual, well it's one, one inch on one side, two on the top uh, strips of sheet metal so it's the cheapest way I can do it to hold just a mass amount of games. I think it worked out that each shelf, each shelf is actually about is bigger than that shelf you're looking at right there and those shelves hold I believe 500 DVDs um, so it's it'll be more capacity than that and I think I worked it out to being about $18 total per shelf so um, like I said I'm in the process of buying all the materials I'll, uh, I'll, I'll post videos on that too um, anyway so this is what the uh, my game room looks like right now. I'll cut to um, a couple hours from now and I'll show you guys what I've done in the basement there. Not a whole lot more, but I plan on moving all this down today. So um, I might even get my TV and stuff down there too. So hopefully when I cut here, you'll see my TV and all these shelves down there. Um, yeah, so see you after the cut. Okay guys, here we are a few hours later. Um, as you can see, over the past few days here I've been bringing down all the games that were on those two shelves that I just uh, showed you at the, at the end there. Um, I've just been stacking them along the walls there. Uh, I forgot to mention last time, all these boxes here are actually full of my DVD collection. Um, I don't think I mentioned this at least in the last video, so... Uh, yeah, these five, uh, six boxes here, um, I think about 1,200 DVDs in there, so I've actually decided that I'm going to be putting my DVDs on a shelf that I'm going to be covering that entire wall there with the uh, shelving that I'm going to be making and put the DVDs over there. Uh, yeah, i got my records over there in the corner. I'll probably in the next few days bring my turntables down. I'm gonna put it on my on that wall right there. Um, anyways, this is what I have so far. Uh, as you can see, I have my um, brought my TV down and the two shelves there on the left and right that I was uh, just talking about. Um, I think all my modern stuff will go there. Um, anything from PS1 and to the newest generation, at least. Uh, yeah, I, I still got to decide where I'm putting what, but I was going to put my D DVDs on those shelves, but um, I've got too many, so I need to uh, put them on that other wall there. So, yeah, modern stuff will probably go to the left and right there. I put a shelf up top to display a bunch of uh, um, boxes and stuff like that. Uh, real quick, I forgot to show off this. Thing that I picked up. I actually went dumpster diving. Um, I've done it once or twice here. Let me see if I can get some good lighting on this. It's a uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, not a mobile, but it's it, it hangs. You can hang it from the ceiling. Um, yeah, I just happened to be in the parking lot, so I stopped by and peeked in the dumpster. And uh, this was laying there, so I saved it. And, uh, and those boxes up there, they're just oversized game boxes. Um, anyways, I also brought down 
my um, retro tube TV here and set that up. Um, this is going to end up being a pretty good space, I think, for the, um, the more retro stuff here. Uh, as I said before, I'm going to put the, uh, the shelves in that I'm making right on that wall right there. And then same on the opposite side. That should hold most, if not all, of my old school like NES, Super Nintendo, N64, Genesis, Master System, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not sure, hopefully you can see this, but I have currently nine, yeah, nine systems hooked up to that TV. Um, yeah, hooked up to Turbo Graphics and the PS1 there on the floor. Uh, works really well. I put the Sega CDX in there too, if you can see it right beside the GameCube. And the GameCube's got the uh, GBA player too. And then right on top there I have my um, my uh, uh, AV, AV switcher here. Works really well. Um, shitload of cords back there, but I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for now. Not a whole lot new, but I'll um, I'll continue to guys to show you guys what's going on here step by step. Um, probably another month or so before I uh, have everything done. I haven't been doing a whole lot, so as I said, I've just mainly been playing games lately. I've yeah slowly been chipping away at getting this done, so. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.